Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. Here in this lesson, we're going to learn how to add real numbers on the number line. So we're starting to learn how to add these things called real numbers. And we're going to use a number line here in the beginning to help you get the idea of it. And then after a while, we'll drop the number line and you'll just kind of use the skills from there on out. So here I've got a reminder to you of what real numbers really are. And essentially, real numbers are positive and negative numbers but they can be any kind of number you can dream of. They can be these whole numbers, like positive two, negative three. They can be decimals, like these. Um, they can be infinite repeating uh, or non-repeating decimals, like pi, pi and negative pi. They can be fractions, negative fractions, zero, etc. So basically a real number, anytime you see somebody talk about real numbers, it means any number you can dream of, positive, negative, or zero, including fractions and decimals, basically anything except an imaginary number, which we'll talk about later. Now also in your study, you'll, you'll see this term called integer. And so we'll, I wanted to kind of introduce that here. Examples of integers are all the negative and positive numbers, and also including zero, which is neither negative nor positive. But these are only the whole numbers, the negative or positive whole numbers, essentially. So negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four. It goes on to infinity in the positive direction and negative infinity in this direction, but basically no decimals no fractions, uh, nothing like pi or anything like that. Basically these nice whole numbers but negative or positive. These are called integers. So we'll kind of start out by adding in, in, in these and we'll learn how to subtract them and so on. But these rules apply to any real numbers, any negative or positive decimals or fractions that you would have. All right, so the best way to do it is just to jump right into an example. What if we wanted to add the following numbers together? Negative two plus zero. Now I know that this is incredibly easy. You know the answer to this. In fact, anybody knows you add zero and you don't really make any changes. So I know that you all know that 